time for the Friday forecaster. I promised you a beautiful lady, Marlena uh, Ortiz. Come on over, Marlena. Hello. How are you? I'm Let's see if your, Thank you. your scarf works. We were concerned because yes. it was a little bit green. We were. Now, you are here uh, to help promote getting out information about breast cancer. Um, the American Cancer Society is doing a walk, um, making sure it's against breast cancer. Help me create a world with less breast cancer. That's and correct. More birthdays. And what a wonderful world it would be. Thank you so much, Marlena, for <laughs> coming you. in. Uninsured and due for a mammogram, the New York State Cancer Services Program and the American Cancer Society are partnering this May to provide mammograms at no cost to Capital Region uninsured women over the age of 40. She's only nine years old, but Kristen Williams has been a source of strength for her mom, Julie, who's been in the fight of her life, a year long battle with breast cancer. The little girl found out her mom was sick by accident when she overheard a telephone conversation. When she got off the phone, I said, I learned five things today. I might have step throat. I might miss my play. I'll let all my teammates down. Um, I have a math test and my mom has breast cancer. Uh, it was at that time that I knew that the best way to mitigate her fear was to involve her. And, and I included her in the process, and uh, she's been a tremendous support for me. It helped Julie through her subsequent surgeries and treatment for the disease. And now the Williams family is creating a bond with other families affected by breast cancer, planning to take part in this weekend's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer walk for the American Cancer Society. Well, this weekend, people will gather in downtown Syracuse, all trying to defeat breast cancer. For one family, the fight is extremely personal. Jessica Kane introduces us to three women who know how to battle adversity. John Steber knows a thing or two about staying strong while fighting breast cancer. Her mother, Judy, fought the disease in 1985 and has been a survivor ever since. As we grew up and through our life, it wasn't, um, it wasn't forefront of our life. You know, she lived a very normal life, and uh, so we do look for her for strength. John was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2005, and it has spread to her bones and her liver. While she's fighting the disease, she's also learned to stay strong for her sister, Dee Dee. Dee Dee learned just last month that she has breast cancer, too, and she's preparing for a mastectomy. It's made it a little easier, I think, for me, only because I know what to expect and how to somewhat I have got a great support system. This weekend, the family will fight with their feet at the annual Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk in Clinton Square. Three years ago, Tottenville resident Patty Spataro went in for a routine mammogram and was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer. Today, Spataro is cancer free. Now she's giving back to the community she says helped her beat the disease. My treatment went as smooth as it possibly could because of all the new studies that are out. And it's because people came here and, and raised money. A little bit chilly this morning. It was a little bit damp earlier, but that hasn't stopped uh, thousands and thousands of people from showing up here at Frontier Field. They are wearing ribbons. They are wearing pink shirts. And they're here for one reason, to raise money for breast cancer research and programs. Funds are raised for um, cancer, breast cancer research and also for local services to patients uh, and their family members. But also, it's an awareness event to really increase the awareness about breast cancer as a disease as well as uh, early detection of breast cancer and the importance of uh, age-appropriate screenings for breast cancer as well. For Diane Silvers, being diagnosed with breast cancer was a complete shock. I didn't have any risk factors in my family. Um, I'm not a smoker or anything like that, so I just never thought it could happen to me. But it did. She was diagnosed earlier this year and has already undergone two surgeries with a third on the way. The good thing is, is that it was early detection and um, I'm just so thankful that I went and got my mammogram like I routinely do and I just urge everyone to do that. This year, 207,000 people will receive the devastating news that they have breast cancer. But the good news is, they are not alone. No, they're not. They're never alone. Not with the American Cancer Society. Of dozens of people throwing up their hands for breast cancer awareness, the Arthur Murray Dance Studio of Latham and radio station Fly 92 teamed up Wednesday for the Pink Glove Dance at the Empire State Plaza. Participants performed a two-minute dance routine on the steps of the New York State Museum, wearing special pink gloves to show their support for the cause. It was an evening of pink that spanned two countries with one common goal. 
find a cure for breast cancer. This year, the Hard Rock Cafe organized the first ever International Living Ribbon or Human Chain. With the falls illuminated in pink, survivors and supporters linked arms over the Rainbow Bridge to help find a cure. And, and we it's a big breast cancer walk this weekend. Right. Yes. 40 miles. 40 miles, what's happening? We're, uh, we're here to support the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. There's a walk this Sunday, there's a walk next Sunday. You can find them online at cancer.org slash strides online. And um, we wanted to give Meredith this beautiful oh. little eclipse. We'll make sure Meredith, Meredith going on, we'll make sure she gets this, all right? Thank you. Thank you.